Speaking of football, let's do movies. Oh, Lord. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. All I got to say is if any of <clears throat> remember the Titans, y'all are despicable. I don't think anybody could remember the Titans, brother. I've watched that movie countless times. You'll be surprised, OG. You'll be surprised. Hold on, what's, what's wrong with hold on, what's wrong with uh remember the Titans? If you cut that movie, you're despicable. <laughs> Rod, you want to go first? Yeah, uh, I'm starting to remember the Titans. I have I got to rewatch any given Sunday because I haven't seen it in like probably good like seven, eight, probably six, seven years. But uh, hey. for now, I'm gonna cut any given Sunday, and then I'm a bench great Iron Gang. Yep, I'm the same way. All right, um, tra- uh, casual. You want to go? Uh, I was just about to say, flip. I'm I'm starting um, gridiron benching. Remember the Titans. <laughs> okay. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, I was crazy. Really? really? To tell you, to tell you the, truth, the reason why, the reason why I'm cutting any given Sunday, and I'm benching. Um, remember the Titans is because I think gridiron was more suited for. People like me who don't know football like that, but sort of fed more into the drama than anything. I think any given Sunday, sort of like it was a little, it was a little more into the football than my liking. I got a little bored with it, but I can understand why it's so like near and dear to like football lovers. And then I never watched. I, it I'm not gonna lie. From what I remember with with any given Sunday, I don't like. The way I see it, I don't necessarily see it as a sports movie. I just see it as – Oh, did I say did I say Any Given Sunday? I'm sorry. Remember the Titans. Technically more of like a drama with sports just being the theme in it. That's how I felt about – that's how I felt about Gridiron. I felt like um, Remember the Titans. I, that's what I meant to say, not, not Any Given Sunday. I didn't so, watch Any Given Sunday. So casual. Just to be clear, you, you starting gridiron. You're benching. Remember, remember the, the Titan, Titans, and you're cutting. Sunday. Champ. Don't you get nasty? I'm starting any given Sunday. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I'm not gonna deal with this fucking debate. Let me give it Sunday. Reason why, man, I'm just gonna be real. Hey, not a, they say it wasn't a hey, they wouldn't give Oliver Stone the rights for it to be NFL, but it was an NFL movie. When you look and you saw Ricky Waters, a little bit of everybody was in that movie. Jim Brown, Johnny Unitas, Dick Buckkiss. I, I mean, a little bit of everybody was in that movie. I mean, I mean Michael I mean Michael Irvin was in the longest shards. What's your point on that? No, 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 no. Let me let me make my point. I ain't saying that when you no, say no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, go ahead, champ. Let the old man speak. Let him Let The reason why I love any given Sunday so much is it, it I'm gonna just be real. It tells a story a lot about ego. It tells a story about pride. It tells a story about the rise and the fall. And it tells and it tells people a story about how to put your pride mainly aside, and that's the reason why I love that movie because it's just like it's easy to tell a high school kid, it's easier to tell a high school kid I can vouch for myself to say, hey, you need to settle down, you need to do what you're supposed to do, but when you're a grown man, you're in your twenties, you're making millions of dollars, you got the world at your feet, and you're experiencing those highs, and everybody. It's just at your beckoning call, and it showed a big lesson on how to put your ego aside and how to learn. Because I never forget one particular part when Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor of all people, he said this to Jamie, you lead, but is anybody following you? And he and remember he said, for every sucker who makes it, for every Barry Sanders, for every Joe Montana, for every Jerry Rice, there's a bunch of folks you never even heard of. So for him to take that. that of all people and give you that lesson within that movie. And like I said, if you look at the movie just as a football movie, that's fine. 
But if you look at, I'm talking about as a grown man, if you really look at that movie and see the lessons that it teaches you about pride and ego, how to put your pride aside and how to learn something, how to keep your mouth closed, how to learn from the veterans, not only at, on your team, but at your job to a certain extent, but us in the real, in the, in the everyday world. That movie teaches a lot of lessons and also the politics behind the NFL. And that's really, and that's why I believe another reason why they didn't want the NFL associated with that. Because remember at the end, you know, uh, Lawrence Taylor had that neck injury and he had a he bunch did. of touches. And then, you know, you had the crooked doctor that was in the movie and, you know, the, uh, the NFL owner that was in that movie, he was trying to move to Los Angeles and circumvent the system and stuff like that. It gives a lot of political stuff that's behind the scenes as far as NFL and gives you a real good insight on how everything goes. I mean, and you knew, I like I said, and it wasn't an NFL movie, but it gave you a good insight on how football works. So no, that's I mean, the reason that, why. That was the same with Major League in the MLB. Yeah, and I, that's the reason why I give it to any given Sunday. I'm starting that. I'm benching. Remember the Titans, but by hair. Like I stated, if I could show anybody to, if I was a teacher and I could show anybody two movies. <laughs> Minus the bad parts of any given Sunday, I will show them those two movies. Then they teach because it teaches you about pride, how to put it aside, and all of that. But um, Gridiron Gang, uh, gotta cut it. That's a good movie, though. It's a great, it's a great movie. It's a real great movie. Um, big fan of Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, but um, I gotta cut that one. I mean, like I stated, if you really like I said, it's really, really look at it. Look at all three of them. It take it teaches you a lot about togetherness. But above all else, I'm taking any given Sunday. Any given Sunday clears. But like I said, it clears. Remember the Titans by a hair, not not a mile. All right, Harrison. Uh, I'm I'm starting to remember the Titans. That's by far the best. By far, my my personal movie that I ever watched my entire life. What do you got? Um, I'm benching uh, given every Sunday. Any given Sunday. I need sorry, and and I'm cutting the uh, what, what was the last one again? Gridiron Gang. Yeah, Gridiron Gang. Gang. I'm sorry, sorry. The, um, the, it's just no. the hold up. It's just the memory of the time. It's just like how many feet are in the mile. How many feet are in a mile? <laughs> 280 feet. You pick this ball up, you want every mile of them. <laughs> you killing me, Petey. You killing me. Oh, that was. That's my favorite. One. Oh, God. that was by far the best. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to give it some good explanation why I love this movie. Uh, it's just like not because of like it's not like because of. What bro? What you said about like the the movie? Because it's not like like football. It's nothing. But it's just like racial like stuff like that. Is that correct? I just said drama. Yeah, it's like drama between like you know, between uh, you know, black and white. And it was such a good movie that uh, people. It's based on. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it. It's just like for people that you guys like, you need to work together as a team to win a uh, national championship or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 but. I don't know. It's just it's that movie was so funny, and also uh, Petey. Uh, who's the the guy who did Petey? Uh, what's his name? Yeah, he did. Uh, the, he's now doing the the T-Mobile commercial. Now it's like that's With fucking his hilarious. Scrubs cast what? With his Scrubs castmate. Yeah, but yeah, that's what that's my opinion. I mean, I always forget for you're referring to Donald Faison. Yeah, Ryan Gosling yeah. is in. Remember the Titans. Yeah. All right. For me, I'm going to go with Champ. I'm starting any given Sunday because of everything that Champ alluded to. You talk about the lifestyle, the pride, the ego, um, the successes, the ups and downs on playing on the professional football league. Um, Champ, you and I, we were talking about this before they had my favorite I love it. Is the Willie Beeman scene, the the, the Willie Beeman music video? Remember that one, uh, champ? <laughs> My name is Willie. Willie, Willie Beeman. Beeman. I got the baby. 
Dreaming. Dreaming. You're dreaming. Dream. <laughs> I love that. And also to um also what was also big that brawl between Jamie Foxx and L O Cool J. You want to give some context or some perspective to that, Jay? Oh yeah, that was uh yeah, the I'm gonna need security shit, man. They got the fighting on the they got the fighting on the set. Yeah, uh, who's debate on debate on who yeah. he is. That was a, that was a real yeah. thing. I mean, terrible Terry. Remember everybody. I don't know if y'all remember this or not. You remember terrible Terry Tate was in that movie, bro? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, but I hated uh, LL's character. He was an asshole to me. I mean, I, mean, I think that was the point. I think that was the point. Like point. I said, I think that was the point of the movie. You have to. You have pride and ego, and then remember what happened in the end. If he would have made that, t- people don't want to talk about this. If he would have made that touchdown, that would have been his five. That would have been a five million dollar bonus. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he, yeah. Instead, he ran out of bounds and gave them the time he needed. But yeah, mm-hmm. I mean that any given Sunday, like I said, if you want to teach grown grown men about pride and and how to put your ego aside and how ego destroys a team within. And, you know, especially with the invisible Jews, him doing all of those press conferences, you know, when he was a backup quarterback. Can you imagine that happening right now? Can you yeah, like, 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 like the big dude said, like, oh, he, oh, he taking hot, hot stuff. Now nah, he done won three games. Now nah, I said he's MVP all of a sudden. Yeah. Can you imagine a backup quarterback nowadays going on every news station talking about the invisible Jew? Can you imagine if Brock Purdy did that, bro? It will be hell on the scale, bro. Well, actually, Chad, we seeing that right now. Uh, Tommy DeVito with them t- uh, chicken cutlets. Well, that's that's. I'm I'm not talking. That's different. I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about really being cocky, saying I got the invisible. Can you imagine yeah, yeah. them? They will be killing him every Sunday. They would. They would be. At his first play on the field, he yaks. <laughs> <laughs> He, oh yeah, he hey, threw up the dot, kind of like, uh, kind of like. Um, we, we don't want to mention Brock's quarterback. I don't want to do that. To him. Yeah. So any given Sunday, I'm starting. I'm benching. Remember the Titans, and I'm cutting Gridiron Game. 